Okay guys, before we start the video, I just need to let you know that I am not responsible for any unintentional data loss, security breaches, or brick devices. Do this at your own risk. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be installing Chrome OS Developer Mode. Now, there's lots of advantages and disadvantages of doing this, but the reason I'm doing it is to install custom APKs from sources other than the Google Play Store. So what we're going to need is the laptop itself. You will also have to make sure your Chromebook is plugged into the charger or its battery is charged over 80% because if it died in the middle of the process, something bad would happen. We're also going to need a way to back up our files. I'm just using a flash drive, although you can use uh, an external hard drive, a flash drive, a uh, CD, whatever you want. You can even use another computer. And I'm also using a mouse, but this is completely optional. So the first step to do is to delete any unnecessary files and garbage. Now I already did that, so I only have like a couple of stuff. And I also cleaned out all of this. And now what we're going to do is we are going to back up our files. By the way guys, it is really easy to transfer files like these, but it is much harder to transfer and back up apps like these unless there's something online like online Google Slides. But like something local like Minecraft would not be able to easily be backed up. So we're going to plug in our USB drive just like that. And then it's going to detect it. And then we are going to move our files. So I'm just gonna copy all of these. And then I'm going to move them like that. This is just how I'm doing them. It's probably not the best way to do it though. 33 minutes remaining. So I'll, I'll come back when it's completely done. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have all the files backed up on this flash drive right here. So now we can just eject it and then move on to the next step. Okay, this is kind of the point of no return. So what we're going to do is we're going to log out of our device. We're gonna sign out. And then we're going to hit the escape key, refresh key, and the power button. It says, please insert a recovery USB stick or SD card. You're going to hit control plus D like that. And that's going to ask us if we want to turn off OS verification. And we're going to click enter. So now it's telling us that OS verification is off. And we're just going to wait. Okay, so it just gave us a very loud beep. And it just tells us that it erased all the data. And it's going to restart in 30 seconds. Okay, so it's preparing the system for developer mode, which may take a while. As you can see, there is a four minute counter, four minute 30 second counter in the top screen. Okay, we have six seconds left on the clock until Whatever happens next happens. Alright. So it's booting up right now. So now it wants us to set up our device. So we can just click on get started. And then it wants to connect to the network. Which I'm going to do. Okay. Now we just have to accept the terms of service. We're just going to go through all these steps. Now it wants me to sign in. Okay, so I just signed in. Sorry, my siblings are really loud. And then, yes, I would love to sync it. I don't want a pin. All right. So, we're about to be finished. Alright, now we can just uh, get started, which is nice, and then I'm going to move the files back onto the computer. As you can see, we have some new settings to explore. Let's check out the settings. As 
So now there's different settings that I can use. And let's back up our files, or let's restore the files technically. So we have our flash drive. You can just grab all these files and then put them here. This is gonna take a little while though, so I'll come back when it's done. All right guys, this is starting to look just like my normal Chromebook. Now we're gonna put this to the test by installing Afteroid. All right, I am on the Afteroid official website, so now we're going to download Afteroid. So as you can see, the APK is being installed. All right, let's try to install this. I'm gonna show it in the folder. I'm going to click on the APK file. And I, I just have to click on this, and then I can install it which is not something you'd be able to do if you didn't have developer mode. Okay, we have the app installed, so that's awesome. And then we can just bring it up. So we have the Android app right here. So we can pen to shelf, just like that. And now we have the Android app. And as you guys can see, it works. Anyways guys, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you later.